We are in Wisconsin right now, just east of Portage, Wisconsin. We are at the uh, rest area. You can see a little bit of white stuff up here, but uh, there's a fairly big truck stop up here, as you can see over there. There's uh, a lot of parking here for trucks, so that's always a bonus, you know. But uh, yeah, so we're getting ready to roll and uh, we'll try and go as far as we can make it today up to uh, Paris, Kentucky. Hopefully we won't have too much problems. Well, so far, I mean, everything looks good. Don't uh, look like it's going to snow anytime soon. I hope not. So with that, we'll get going here and then we'll see you guys down the road. We just did another uh, pit stop. We're on farmland, Illinois, at the rest area right now. Just have to go take care of some business. But here we are, back on the road, or not quite on the road yet, but getting to go yet. We are rolling. Yeah, one of the other reasons why I stopped was uh, I got a uh, reload offer. And I wanted to check it out uh, on uh, my computer there on streets and trips on uh, how far it is to where I gotta go pick up and that load uh, is going to Mississauga, Ontario which is what most of you would probably recognize as Toronto, Ontario to the big city but uh, yeah, so I checked it out and uh, it's not that bad. It's only 1,400 kilometers from where I'm at right now until I get to my destination in Toronto. And I only do my delivery tomorrow. I only have to do a drop there. So I drop my trailer tomorrow morning or by 10 o'clock it needs to be there. We'll get it there by 10. And then uh, we will uh, grab probably an empty up there and then we'll go up to this other location and switch trailers again it's supposed to be a preloaded trailer up there and then uh, hopefully I'll be ready tomorrow by the time I get there I should probably be there by noon somewhere around that time and then we'll uh, start heading towards Toronto but uh, yeah I just figured I would mention this uh, Streets and Trips has decided to discontinue their product. So if you guys want to get Streets and Trips, I would suggest that you guys would get it this year or like ASAP as soon as possible. Because uh, at the end of this year, they're no longer going to support it anymore. And I really do like Streets and Trips. Uh, it gives me a bigger screen, gives me good uh, good locations. You know, like they're pretty good with their addresses, and it's an offline program. I don't need to have internet to, to use it. Uh, it's sad that they're discontinuing it, but uh, hopefully there will be another company uh, that will have a offline mapping program and if you guys do know any other offline mapping program please leave me uh, uh, the name for that program in the description down below so that way I can go check it out because I haven't really found any other good program that is as good I know there is PC Miler they have a program but I don't really like that particular program that is more of a dispatcher program it's really not really a mapping program for me at least it isn't really a very good design program so if there is any other uh, offline mapping programs please please leave them in the comments down below so that way I can check them out and hopefully they are good too you know because I really do enjoy the streets and trips I can still continue to use this program as far as I know it won't, uh, it won't expire on me, I don't think so at least. Uh, because I've used previous versions for a couple of years and they never given me problems. But uh, they just no longer will support support that program or, or, or update it or anything like that anymore. So, 
we have to find something else, right? But uh, yeah, so if you guys know anything else, then let me know, please, in the comments to below. And I'll check it out, and I'll also mention it on this channel or whatever, if you find any other good programming. Because for me, it's, uh, it's something I really really enjoy having this is I can type in the exact address and it shows me exactly how far it's going to be and all that good stuff you know and uh, I need it to be uh, to be able to uh, to look exactly where it's taking me and uh, sometimes I compare it out with my GPS so that way I, I get the good routing that way I wrote my, my roads properly I can see which one is shorter and sometimes it wants to take you uh, back to through back routes and stuff like that you know and uh, that way I can see a little bit on a bigger screen and decide on where I want to actually go you know but anyways that's enough of that uh, it's been a pretty windy day again today luckily today for the most part I've been able to go with the wind for a little stretch I had to go all the wind was coming from the side so uh, a few miles is going down a little bit but uh, now we're back on track uh, going the right direction I guess for the wind at least so uh, yeah, it looks like I'll be able to make it uh, to uh, Indianapolis tonight in that area I already looked at the Flying J that's going to be on the south side of Indianapolis looks like that's going to be promising for me so uh, so yeah we'll uh, we'll try and get her down there as soon as I can because we need to get up ASAP tomorrow morning and head over to do our delivery so with that we'll cut it for now we'll be we'll be back a little bit later it is good evening I am done for today made it over to uh, Pittsburgh Indiana it's about 15 miles before Indianapolis. I was going to go down to Indianapolis, but it's starting to get dark now. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't get a parking spot up there. So I decided to park up here, you know. It's good enough up here too. Got plenty of parking up here yet, so far at least, when I parked. And uh, when I just looked outside, there was still plenty of parking up there. So hey, that's good. At least we got ourselves a safe parking spot. and. If I would have gone down over to the Flying J up there in Indianapolis, I would have been real tight on hours. And if it would have been all of a sudden full, I would have been screwed. I couldn't really go anywhere because I would be out of hours. So, And that's not very good either. So I'd like to play it smart. And if I have to park half an hour earlier, then so be it, right? But uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. We're going to go drop this trailer tomorrow uh, about 10 o'clock and then we'll head over to our re reload location which is only about 65 miles away and that's supposed to be a preloaded trailer up there too so yeah so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do all that stuff tomorrow and then uh, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow then so thanks for watching please don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you really like the videos uh, then uh, please share them and if you haven't subscribed already please do so the button should be down below so uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.